Right, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For today's lesson, we are going to revise. First, we're going to revise functions. Alright, let's say you are given a Venn diagram. Uh, if you look at this, um, so alright, this is given to you. You have a diagram there. So, alright, this vertical, the first vertical line will be the object. So, x is the object. So, the object is equals to 1. Alright, when you have uh, object equals to 1, mapping to negative 3, so you get the image uh, which is gx, the image will be negative 3. Alright, the question gives you, okay, given that gx equals to 3x over x plus h, where your x is not equals to negative h, you got to find the value of h. Alright, in order to answer this question, uh, you have to understand how to write equation from the Venn diagram. Alright, the way to write it, okay, look at your g here. So the way to write it, you write g first, g1 equals to negative 3. Right, that's our starting point. So you're going to start with g1 equals to negative 3. So here, um, your first line that you have to write, write it down. Alright, now you have your g1. So you're going to use this g, which is 3x over x plus h. You're going to substitute x equals to 1 into your x. So you're going to put x equals to 1. So now you're going to substitute in, so you have 3 times 1 over 1 plus h and then equals to negative 3. Alright, you cross multiply and then you bring over the negative 3 to other side again. So you have 3 divided by negative 3 gives you negative 1. Alright, you rewrite, you're going to write, uh, you're going to find h, so you're going to write 1 plus h equals to negative 1. Uh, you can bring it over, so the answer for the h will be h equals to negative 2. Now, the second part of the question, they want you to find the object if the image is equals to 1. Alright, find the object when the image is equals to 1. Alright, first, uh, if you recap, what is the concept of object? So the object is always labeled as x, so object is always x, and the image is always uh, gx, so fx so, uh, if you have your function goes to mx so just um, the function and then the bracket all right objects always x images will always the gx fx and so on all right uh, because they say the image equals to one so you're gonna put the gx equals to one all right by rewriting the answer that you just found in the first uh, part which is gx equals to 3x over x minus 2 because your h equals to negative 2 uh, you're gonna substitute gx equals to 1 here so you're gonna put 1 here so see gx equals to 1 all right now you just cross multiply so you have 3x over x minus 2 you cross multiply you're gonna have x minus 2 times 1 which is similar x minus 2 equals to 3x all right bring it over and bring over so you're gonna solve this and then you get the final answer which is x equals to negative 1 all right this is to find the object next uh, you're gonna find uh, the g inverse of the x so you want to you want to find g inverse g inverse so first uh, you're going to write your g function which is gx equals to 3x over x minus 2. Alright, next you're going to let this gx equals to y because you want to find the inverse. So you let 3x over x minus 2 equals to y. Alright, you cross multiply, you're going to multiply uh, x minus 2 times y, you get xy minus 2y. Alright, to find the g inverse, you have to find the x, but you got two x here. So you got one here and one here. So you have to uh, regroup them, regroup. So you bring over the x term on one side, the one without the x term on the other side. So we're going to move the x, y to, to, to this side. Right, this negative 2y, you just stay there. Right, you bring this over, you have 3x minus x, y equals to negative 2y. Alright, now you got x here and x here. So what we will do is we're going to factorize, we're going to pull out the x. So you're going to put x out and then you're going to put bracket. So 3 minus y, you factorize. Alright, now you have factorized, so you can bring it over. So you bring it over, you have uh, negative 2y over 3 minus y. Alright, this is not the final answer. So the final answer, you just, just change the y becomes x again. So just change the y becomes x. So the final answer will be the g inverse will be um, negative 2x over 3 minus x. So this is how to find the g inverse. Alright, next uh, we're going to revise differentiation. Alright, it is given that y equals to bracket ax plus 3. Another bracket x minus 2 to the power of negative 1 has gradient tangent. Alright, when you see the word gradient tangent, so it means it means uh, dy by dx. So this curve, uh, y equals to something, has dy dx equals to negative 10 uh, when x equals to 1. So you want to find the value of a. Alright, uh, if you look at this, this is negative 1. You can always bring it down. So you have uh, ax plus 3 over x minus 2. 
Alright, the first thing is to bring it down first. So you have uh, ex plus 3 over x minus 2. So we're going to use a uh, quotient rule. So the quotient rule you have u above, v below. So write your u is ax plus 3. Alright, you find du by the x. Alright, this is ax. So you find du by the x, you simply write a. Uh, because you bring 1 down, so 1 minus 1 gives 0, so you have x power 0 becomes 1, so you get only a there. Alright, you have v equals to x minus 2, so you find dv by the x, so dv by the x would be 1 as well, because um, so x differentiate x gives you 1. Alright, now this is the formula to find the dy by the x, because of the gradient function means uh, dy by the x. So we, we're going to use the formula v du dx minus u dv dx over v square. Alright, substitute the value of dy by dx, which is negative 10 here, into your equation, negative 10 here. Alright, the v is x minus 2, but because our x equals to 1, you're going to put 1 here. So you're going to write 1 minus 2 times du by dx, which is a. Alright, now you have u, which is ax plus 3, you're going to put uh, the x equals to 1, so you have uh, a plus 3. And then the dv by the x will be 1. Alright, the v just now is x minus 2, so 1 minus 2 square. But because 1 minus 2, one minus two square is negative 1 square, it becomes 1, so it's like it's nothing there. Alright, now you're gonna solve this. So you have 1 minus 2, negative 1, so negative a. Alright, here you're gonna put uh, you times 1, you get the same value, so you're gonna put negative a. Alright, positive negative will be negative, so you're gonna solve this. Uh, negative a minus a will be ne negative to a, bring it over becomes positive to a. Alright, negative 10 bring over becomes 10, 10 minus 3 will be 7, so the answer for the a will be 7 over 2. Alright, now uh, the second part, you want to find uh, d, you want to find the value of x if d to y over dx squared equals to 1 over 50. Alright, first I'm going to change 7 over 2 becomes 3.5. I'm going to substitute back into my equation here. So I'm going to rewrite 3.5x plus 3 over x minus 2. So that will be my y. So first we're going to find the dy by the x, the first derivative. So this is u over v, similar method that we did just now. So it's u over v. So you're going to write the formula v du dx minus u dv dx. Alright, uh, if you look at this, 3.5x and here is 3.5x. So if you cancel them, so it's gone. So because 3.5x minus 3.5x is it's uh, cancelled. Alright, now you have negative 2 times 3.5 which is 7. Alright, you get negative here. Negative times positive will be negative. So you have negative 10 over x minus 2 square. But you can bring this up. So because you want to differentiate one more time. So remember you have, uh, you have bracket with power. So you can bring power down. Power minus 1. Differentiate inside the bracket. So this is uh, the second derivative. So you have uh, d2y over dx square. So bring power down. So negative 10 times negative 2. And power minus 1. And then differentiate in the bracket this one but I didn't write it and then equate with this the question is just 1 over 50 so you put 1 over 50 at the end all right uh, negative 10 times negative 2 will be 20 all right 1 over 50 all right cross multiply if you cross multiply here you're gonna write x minus 2 cube equals to uh, 50 times um, 20 will be 1000 all right now um, uh, so you get 1000 here Bring over the cube becomes cube root. So the cube root of 1000 will be 10. Alright, bring over the negative 2, you get x equals to 12. So this is the final answer. So uh, can you do all the questions? I mean, can you copy all the questions? Because it's uh, for revision purposes. So I wish you all the best. And if you need any help, just ask me. Alright, goodbye and good luck.